You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Hello and welcome to TIFO IRL. I'm Alex, I'm an analyst at TIFO. Today we're going to be looking at Julian Nagelsmann's Bayern Munich, the changes that he's made from Hansi Flick, who was the previous manager, and why they're basically one of the best teams in Europe. Now, as you probably know, Julian Nagelsmann was the youngest full-time head coach in German football when he was appointed manager of Hoffenheim at 28. He's now at Bayern, he's only 34 still, very, very young. He's obviously renowned as being a, a super tactician. He worked under Thomas Tuchel when he was uh, a professional footballer prior to becoming injured and then going off to pursue uh, sports psychology and business management. So he's learned a lot from that. And he's the kind of manager who makes all sorts of exciting tactical tweaks and changes. But what's very interesting is that he has also famously said that coaching is 70% social competence and only 30% tactics. He's also said in taking over this job at Bayern that Hansi Flick had built an incredible squad. There have been a couple of additions to it, obviously, Upper Meccano and Sabitzer have joined from uh, Nagelsmann's old club, Leipzig. But the foundation of that squad is still there. And Nagelsmann said, look, I'm, I've inherited this team that play really, really good football. And he's only made a few, but they are very important, a few tactical tweaks. So what we're going to do is have a quick look first at how they build up and how they attack and highlight a couple of those significant changes. Then we'll go on to look at how they press uh, and defend because that's also very important with Nagelsmann's style of football. So generally speaking, uh, Bayern like to line up in a kind of 4-2-3-1, although they have used uh, a 3-4-2-1 uh, in their most recent fixture against Greater Firth when we're recording this. Um, so far this season, they've gone unbeaten in competitive fixtures. They had a pretty terrible preseason, actually. They lost a load of games and everyone was kind of tweaking a little bit about whether Nagelsmann was going to be okay. But since that 1-1 draw against Gladbach, he's steamrolled pretty much everybody. So this is the basic system. What you get here is uh, Alfonso Davis, this uh, left back on the uh, left-hand side, pushes up really, really high. Then uh, Upper Meccano, Sula, and Pavard, who's the right back, stays in this spot here. Now, when they're in the 3-4-2-1, uh, Pavard was playing as the right wing back, and you actually had uh, Hernandez in here on the left, Sula in the middle, and Upper Meccano centrally. But personnel don't matter too much. So you get this shape here at the back with three, with this uh, fullback tucking inside here. Joshua Kimmich, who has been playing as a kind of right wing back for Germany, but Nagelsmann sees him very much as a defensive midfielder, where again, he excels. Like he's one of the best in the world in both of those positions, a bit selfish. Uh, he drops in here to act as the pivot. And then ahead of him, with this left fullback pushed up really high, Leroy Sané can kind of tuck inside here. We'll come back to talk about Sané because he's really important. Goretzka is kind of the link man. Müller, who's the 10 nominally, will also drop off here. Müller's an incredibly versatile player. He has played as a, a right inside forward. He's played as a 10, he's played as an eight. And then Nabry tends to maintain the width in the absence of the fullback pushing up. And what Bayern like to do is generally speaking, if they can initially move it through the lines through Kimmich, then that gives Goretzka the opportunity to start playing these sorts of forward passes. A lot of movement between the lines with Goretzka and Müller. If Kimmich is taken out of the game here by some marking, let's get rid of these passing opportunities, then the fullbacks or the, the, the wider center backs will split even wider and then they'll look to take the ball and play line passes up here, maybe come inside a little bit for that. Upper Meccano is particularly good at this. He's a very good passer of the ball, good ball carrier as well. And then ahead of this, basically what Bayern do is they kind of rely a little bit on individual brilliance. Now, that's not to say there isn't a plan. The plan is to create overloads in between the lines in the standard sort of way, have players hitting the box late like this, pivoting off Lewandowski, who will also try and get in behind. Sané likes to make these runs in field here, but will also try and get to the byline and pull the ball back. 
and Nabri maintains the width but can also cut inside here. Now the key thing with all of this is that the change from Hansi Flex style is this use of the three at the back, which is something that Nagelsmann used a lot at Leipzig. It was what he was comfortable with at Hoffenheim. Flick tended to push both wing backs high and have his wide players tucking inside. That's why he was using Sané on the right hand side as a left footer to kind of come in field and look for those shooting opportunities. Think Ian Robin. It didn't work out amazingly well. Nagelsmann shifted Sané quite quickly to the left-hand side, which is where he's able to take the ball kind of ahead of him there. So if you've got defenders like this, they're sort of, he's, he can drop in a little bit, take this pass, and then he's able to make runs. And he's either attacking this channel here, or he's coming inside. You will also find him coming quite central, almost to play as a sort of de facto front two with Lewandowski. Let's get rid of some of these arrows because it's becoming a bit confusing. Um, and that gives Bayern a lot in attack, but that shift from building up in a back three rather than a kind of two plus one with the fullbacks both pushing up, maintaining the width on one side here and moving Sané across to the left, those are really only the significant tactical tweaks that Nagelsmann's made. Even when he shifted to the back three like he did against Greuter, the shape and build-up is still very, very similar. So you have Pavard as the wing back, you have Hernandez coming in there, Upamecano plays centrally, Sula plays on the right, and Sula has played as a right back as well, so this kind of works. But the fundamentals of that build-up can remain the same. And this is a crucial thing for Nagelsmann. What he likes to do is work with players so that they have this innate tactical flexibility. That allows him to make plenty of in-game transitions. He can use players coming in. People like uh, Musiala can come in here instead of Nabry, maybe. Sabitzer could play instead of potentially Goretzka or Muller, although Muller's pretty undroppable. And what that means is the players all understand the system, but the fundamentals in terms of the positional play, in terms of the movement around the box, and in terms of the individual ability is kind of a carryover from Flick. So what Nagelsmann has been able to do is he's been able to come in and make, you know, like important but not massive stylistic changes that allow the team to have continuity and flourish in a setup that really, really works for them. Let's have a quick look now at the pressing system that he uses. So as well as verticality, Nagelsmann is obviously known as a pressing manager. Um, Bayern like to play with a nice high defensive line here, which allows them to put pressure on the opposition. Obviously, they're aided in that by Manuel Neuer, who's probably the, the best or one of the originators of sweeper keeping in the kind of modern sense. One of the interesting things that happen is that this sort of 4-2-3-1 system sees actually Sané push up here almost to make like a front three. Davis is then able to push high if he needs to or hold back here on this side with Sané putting pressure on the opposition centre-back. Lewandowski will be tying up that one. Müller, who's an absolute genius when it comes to pressing and spatial awareness, will sort of take whoever's here. Nabry can drop off back and, and they can create like a pressing trap that gets the goalkeeper to play the ball here and then they can all spring onto them. But it's quite interesting to see uh, Sané in this very, very advanced pressing role, which also helps if Bayern are able to win the ball back, because then Sané straight away can pick the ball up and, and use his uh, very, very strong dribbling skills or his speed to get in behind. Bayern will also look to press in a kind of man-orientated way. So they're very much looking to put pressure on individual players like this, as well as target the ball area. And this is a slightly more aggressive and man oriented pressing system than Flick used. And what it does is it gives Bayern this kind of really um, abrasive edge in terms of how they look to dominate the game. Obviously, Bayern have the best squad in the Bundesliga, so they are often able to dominate games through possession and could keep the ball and pass it around themselves as much as they wanted to, which is something that they kind of did under Flick quite a lot but Nagelsmann's injected this kind of aggressive pressing and the verticality, and it's made Bayern even more dangerous. So that's a brief look at how Julian Nagelsmann's Bayern Munich play. Obviously loads and loads of in-game and match-to-match -match tweaks, 
So it's a complex system, but hopefully that gives you a good understanding of the basics of what he's doing. If you like this content, then please subscribe to our IRL channel and stay posted for lots more stuff of this nature. Thanks very much. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.